Hello everybody. I am here today to do a commissioned junk journal um, project share. And I just want to walk through it so the lady that's purchasing it can get to see this junk journal. And also for those of you who want some inspiration on how to do a junk journal, I do have a video on how I created this. It's actually several live videos because I usually do everything I make live. So anyway, um, this is the junk journal. It is fully complete now and it only took me a week to actually make. So let me go through it. So on the front here, you can see I have lots of pretty butterflies and some bling some stamps. Now this here kit, this was a kit, some of it, not all of it, was most of it is from Dreams Etc. Um, who she does amazing design work and you can buy her kits. This was a physical kit that was shipped to me and I used a lot of stuff in it. I used all the fabrics. Um, I used a lot of things that she sent in the kit and you will see as we go through it. So I will put a link below to Dreams Etc's channel and her Etsy shop or her website because she has both. And you can check out her digital downloads Oh, and her kits. Oh my God. And her digital downloads are phenomenal. So this here is um, a, a wood chip board piece of a little girl. You can see her. She is so a darling. And on the spine, so what I did first on the book is I covered the entire book with um, burlap and then I just frayed the edges and then I put fabric and I glittered the fabric on the spine, on the front. So this is the spine and you can see I used a lot of Dreams Etc's little things like these stamps all came in the kit, like so many, the buttons, had to use all this stuff because her stuff is incredibly amazing. And there is the back of the journal. Now, for the, the inside of it, you can see all these little charms I have hanging off of it. I just thought it would be super cute to kind of hang charms off of the, um, the tabs and stuff and all the laces. So without further ado, let's get inside of this huge, big junk journal. I macrameed the uh, tie for it. So this is macrameed. And I just thought it gave it that real extra bit of love. So let's open up to page one. So in, let me make sure I'm in frame. So page one is a flip out. So you can flip this out, as you can see here, and we have a tag in here, and the back is for journaling, and it just slides in behind. So you can put several things in behind here as well. This is a place here for journaling. You can journal here. Uh, I just put some lace on there just to make it look really pretty. And this is a magnetic closure, so you can hear it close with the magnet. Now this also opens up, and all these ephemeras, most of this all came from Dreams Etc. So inside here, I've got two little um, post-it cards. So let me just get my one hand. And they do have cute little belly bands on them. So you can pull the belly band off, and you can use all the little papers. These are all for journaling. Whoops, that one kind of stuck there. So you can journal on all these pages. So you just flip them down. This is the weekdays. There's thoughts. There's big ideals. There's little doodles here. So, and that's why I've got the uh, little belly bands on here. I just thought that would, you know, hold these down nicely. Whoops. I like that little rose to be on the front. So it just slides in over the ephemera. And it just keeps these from, you know, folding. Whoops folding open. So there are is two of them. I slid them over like this because of the way they go into the book. I did not want them to hit the magnet because they are quite thick. And then they just slide back into the pocket like so. So 
So there's little tabs here that you can use to pull them out with and then the magnet will close that. So that's the inside cover and I think this tag is super, super cute. And this is a little change purse or a little makeup bag that I took. It was pink and you open it up and you can put all kinds of treasures in there, keepsakes, goodies, pens, pencils, whatever. Um, I made this cute little envelope. I think this is adorable. I stamped it with some of my stamps and then it just opens up with this little sticky on it and inside is pages to journal on. So it's the weekdays. So you just open it up, journal on it, write what you need to write on it, and put it back in the envelope. And you can put even little goodies in there and it just closes right back up like so. And then this just tucks back into her, behind her here, and it just sits there. So I think it's just super, super cute. Over here we have a uh, paper clip. So let me pull off the paper clip and show you what I did on here. I took some Mod Podge and a napkin and I just loved this image. So I took, um, let me see. For some reason my lights are not showing me that you can see this and I glittered it with Mod Podge. And it's just, just a place to journal and write. And then on the back here of these, there's places to journal on these, these tags. So they're meant for journaling. So I did that. And I just slipped back up into this Tim Holtz paper clip here. Like so. And I don't know if I need to put that paper clip back on. Yeah, it goes on to this. And it kind of holds them down, so I don't want to snag whatever it is on the other page. And there's one of the charms. It's a little mirror with a little tab. And over here on this page, we did, um, I stamped all of this with all my different kinds of stamps. I don't know how well you can see them. So I just used Tim Holtz splatter. This is his splatter stamp and a bunch of little vintage rubber stamps that I got and a glossine envelope which I distressed it made it look really dirty and the back here I draw lines on all my cards here for journaling so you can put something on here or you can journal on that and that just tucks in there over here I just left this this completely blank for her to journal on over here I made a little tuck spot and put some tags for journaling on. Really cute vintage uh, tags. And they just tuck into the tuck spot like so. Like that. And over here we've got just a place to journal on here but this is an actual pocket. So in this pocket here we've got a really cute journaling tag so you can journal on both sides. You can flip it up and you can journal inside. And then this is just going to slide inside of this super cute pocket. And I love putting these divider tabs on them because it makes it easier to get things out of the pocket. So if you have a little tab, you can just pull it out. So that's that. And it's got some lace on it. Again, another blank page here for just journaling on. Over here, I've got some real pretty stuff. You can uh, put stuff on here. You can glue stuff on that tab. But on the back of it, there's a place to journal and I put some ephemera. This is all ephemera that all came from dreams, etc. So you can journal there and you can journal on here as well. And over here, this was a big letter three that came in my kit. Absolutely love that letter three, number three letter. Wow. My number three. And then inside there is a nice little, I made the tab out of a glossine envelope. So it's nice and it's crunchy now with the glue and you can journal here as well so this is just going to slip back into the pocket and then of course it's got a nice little charm hanging off of the tab there so over here a place to journal a place to journal here I left this blank and you can write right over top of this writing so again this is just one of my um, fancy stamps 
and you journal on this. You can journal here. Um, I just used this little envelope for some of the old cards, the vintage cards that came in my kit. So I thought I would leave those tucked in here. She can put stuff on them, glue stuff on them, and use them. Here is a place to journal, and over here, and you can journal here, or you can just glue stuff on there from a trip you went on, or souvenirs, and that's about all there. Over here, the same thing. Just lift it up. You can journal there. You can journal there. Lots of places for journaling. And a cute little tab with a letter hanging off as a charm. So cute. And over here, let me see. There we go. Over here is one of Dreams Etc. Now she has a video for this. Uh, it's called Embelly Clips. She created this. They are so adorable and so fun to make. Now this is just a, a clip that clips onto the page and inside it's got little places to put. You can I put tuck spots in here. Um, you can put uh, little ephemera in there. I stamped over the Tim Holt stamp on her. I just made this really pretty embelly clip thanks to Dreams Etc. Um, who has a video on how to do that also. So you might want to check that out when you go to her channel because she does have a lot of beautiful uh, videos junk journals and stuff that she makes so it's just going to stay on the page like that you can journal back there um, there's a number four that came in the uh, kit as well and I just made some tags and put lines on the backs of them so you can journal on them and then it just goes into this cute little pocket that was a bag and Put your tags in so like so and then there's the number nine on the back of that so that's super cute over here i left this blank to journal on over here is a little doodle pad so you can just lift this up and you can doodle all over these little pages and i made it to a little tuck spot and you can journal all over around the page there over here i left it blank and of course there's a little charm it's a heart and yeah, I left it blank there as well on this page here this is just a, a, a little if, what do you call it like a decoration you can put stuff on it if you want over here is a little I don't know what you'd call that but that's just some of my inking I drew some inks on there psychedelic and inside here is a place to journal so I made a little booklet and again this is dreams etc it came from I think her dragonfly her wings and things it's called wings and things collection and you just print it off and cut everything out and I used scan and cut for most of that so journal journal on the back of there so there's no wasted space in here over here we've got um, oh my little oh it's on a Tim Holtz paper clip and there's places to journal on all of these pages, fronts, backs, lots of places to journal. And it just tucks inside there and this big paper clip holds it on. And place to journal here. This was a beautiful uh, pocket that I did. And this one here is made with an applique. So this is just an applique with some pretty paper, some pretty pink and white lace. And inside here is just an envelope for a place to uh, journal on your, your um, um, what do you call this, tags, journal, journal cards. And it just slides right back into that beautiful pocket. I absolutely love that pocket with the butterfly. Okay, on the next page over, so we have just a tag here, a place to uh, journal, and it just tucks in behind here and I left this here open a little bit so that the tag fits over here and we have a little key charm hanging off there over here we have two pockets um, I put the journaling pages on here and inside is got two little um, Q 
cute little tags, places to journal on the backs of them. Just little fairy things. And I think this might have come from Dreams Etc. as well, from her fairy collection maybe. I'm not sure, 100% sure. but And it just tucks inside of there. So there's a little pocket there. And this is an envelope I made to close my signature. And so when I closed my signature, it's hidden inside of the envelope there. And I was taught how to do that by KK. And this is just a nice little booklet to journal in. I, I put all these pages on here. And there's the back of this. This is a Genevieve's, uh, Genevieve's uh, digital download that you have to buy. And it just tucks into that little... I always have problems getting that one. It's so flat. Like it just sits perfectly. There we go. All right. And then flip it over and you can journal all over on this side of the book here. Over here, I created a tag from my Scan and Cut and used some eyelash. And you can journal on the back or you can put um, pictures or something on there. This is all a beautiful mint green lace that I put on this. And I just created the pocket with some, some sentiments on the bottom of the pockets. And then this just tucks back into the pocket like so. And then it has a love uh, charm hanging off it. And I just put a piece of lace here for divider. Over here, you can journal on here. You can journal here. And you can journal here. Um, you can also journal on the backs of these little tickets and they're just tucked into this little infam or yeah this is uh, dreams etc stuff I don't know where I got these though I don't think these are dreams etc these are from a free download offline these stamps I think from Pinterest over here I have another beautiful in belly clip and there's the back of it you can journal inside here but the most beautiful part of it is the front of the embelly clip. Again, I have um, tags to journal on that you can pull out of this little pocket that I created in behind it and just stand these up. So, I mean, yes, it is a little bulky, but look at how gorgeous this is. It's so pretty and it looks pretty on a very empty page like this. So I'm just leaving it to hook on like that and it stays just perfectly fine and you can journal on the back of the paper over here I just uh, glued an Eiffel Tower that came in an ephemera kit from Dreams Etc and there's places to journal all over there uh, places to journal here I put a little tuck spot and inside I put a little uh, journaling tag and behind the little puppy it says I was born for adventures over here we have a super cute uh, set of pockets here um, this is the glossing envelope and I just I just did I just glued papers down and made it made it look really kind of different so inside here is a tag and a place to journal on the back of the tag and that just slides right into this pocket and this is just decoration. I put a pretty green, mint green flower with some lace behind it. And here's a beautiful tag. Uh, again, a Dreams Etc. kit. I can't remember which one, if it's Cottage Rose or if it was Collage Rose. Her kits, I've got a lot of her kits and I absolutely love her tags, her pockets, her uh, ephemera. It's just so beautiful. So in behind it, there is a little... Oh, it's on the next page. Sorry. Let's go to the next page. Oopsies. Next page. So in behind it is a pretty... This is from Wings and Things. And you can journal on the back of that. And that just tucks in behind here on this um, lined paper for journaling. So this is all. And I put the Eiffel Tower... Whoops. Oh, her Eiffel Tower on it. Over here you can journal here... You can journal on these little tickets. <coughs> you just slide in like so. Flip it around like this. And you can journal here, here. And you can journal on the back of the fan. 
Here's a big space to journal as well with some pretty lace and a little ball hanging off <coughs> with uh, crystals in it. A place to journal on here. So pretty. I do not know why I have very, seems very dark and shadowy and I'm super sorry for that. <coughs> This is again another piece of just for decoration, but this one here you can journal on here and you can journal on the back. And I just stuck a little note um, ephemera on it as well. So you can journal here and we'll turn it sideways. And over here I created pockets. So out of the page you can just pull up these and on the backs of them there's places to journal and I drew lines on both of them. And then you can journal here for sure. And then I put these little tabs in just to make it a lot easier. And I did rip all around the edges just to give it that really old torn look. And they just slide in there like that. And the little pockets line up like that. So I like them to just sit like this. Okay. Next. Over here. Place to journal. This is just the flap from that little purse that I did. I didn't do anything with it because I could not create any more bulk in this book. So I did not. This is just a place to journal. This is not a tuck spot. Over here we have a, another beautiful pocket. And it has this in it. And it's got a little bingo card so you can journal on the back of that and just tuck it in your tuck spot. And I made this little pocket here. And inside this is a cute little tag, uh, again from Dreams Etc. This came from her uh, ephemera set. And I just got it sitting in the glassine envelope, tucked inside of the pocket there, just to pretty it up. And I put some bows on it. I just thought it looked super cute. And then over here is a place to journal. Oops. <laughs> Wrong. It's upside down. We're going backwards. Over here, I put a little tag in here. You can journal all on this page here. This is just held on with a Tim Holtz paper clip, little mini one. Over here, we've got another set of pockets, but this time I, I just put doilies. I had a pink one. That's a little pine cone charm. I put a pink one, um, a white one. They're all different um, doilies. And this one here, I left it for a pocket. So in there goes this little cute ephemera card, little journaling card with a cute bow with some lace on it. And it just stands up right there. And then there's two of these beautiful ephemera tags journaling on the back of those as well. And this goes right inside like this. So that's that pocket. Over here I created um, a really pretty pocket here. Not pocket, but a page and here is a piece of vellum and I put on the back of it some journaling lines so it's just held on with this super cute um, I believe this is a Prima clip came from a Prima collection and it just sits in there like so and then flip it over I have that's a uh, wing or feather it's a wing hanging off of I have three layers of lace on here I've got a white one a white and blue and a pink one and then again I did the same thing with the clip I put the line to paper on the back and made it nice place for to journal on so and this will just clip on here like so and again these paper clips came from a prima collection and I don't remember it so I'm so sorry about that over here we've got a, a card, journaling card, that's in this beautiful pocket, and it even says beautiful. Okay, flip that over. There's a little card here that you can take off and journal on the back of it, and you can also journal on here, and there's a place to journal on the back there. And I just put some some of her ephemera on it. This is Dreams Excedra's ephemera on a journaling card. Over here, we've got a place to journal, 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 and journal. And you can journal on this whole page here, flip it over, 
and I wrinkled up a piece of paper. I distressed it and I glued it down. So that's a place to also journal on. Over here we get to see another one of this is a beautiful picture and I did not want to cover it. So I left that picture absolutely alone because it's so pretty. And that came from Dreams Etc. in the kit. This is another one of her, her embelly clips. So I put this really pretty lace that KK sent me. It's a yellow lace. It was doubled and I cut it open and opened it up and used the lace on the back. And then in behind it I put uh, all kinds of beautiful things. And of course, uh, ephemera cards to uh, journal on. So, And it just goes in like that. And this closes up like this. It just covers up. And this is magnetic because of the uh, picture. Look at how beautiful. This is all Dreams Etc. stuff, guys. So if you're ever wanting to get yourself some uh, beautiful digis, go and check them out, her and Genevieve. And this is Happy. Over here, we've got some more pockets that I made. And one of them has a cute little charm hanging off it. It's a little owl and a place to journal on the back of that it slides into its own top pocket. Um, I also glued cut this out to Believe in Miracles. This is from one of her collections as well. And a cute little tag to journal on and it just goes in behind there. And then you open this up here. Next page is just a plastic pocket that I made. It's actually like a little folder. It opens up like so and it's glued down here so you can't pull this off and you could tuck stuff in there which I did and then it's just got a bunch of journaling pages on it in it and you just slide those in there like so and then this you can journal on and this goes here and this also goes here as well so that's a place to journal here and another pretty charm hanging off here and it's a little girl and over here is just a tuck spot that's got uh, a ton of paper. Not a ton, but it's got uh, lots of sheets here, which I hit with the glue. I hate when I do that. And uh, it just tucks in behind here like this. So that's that page. Over here is just a page to, a couple of pages to journal on. The little butterflies. There's uh, fronts and backs and it's held on with the Tim Holtz paper clip over here um, those are index clips sorry and these are the little mini paper clips that I used throughout this album as well over here is a place to journal place to journal little tuck spot up here and over here is a really pretty place to journal and you can lift that up and journal underneath it um, over here I made a vellum pocket because this was a vellum sheet so I made a vellum pocket and made a really pretty little booklet uh, to journal in as well that goes in the vellum pocket so pretty and a little divider holder on it or that's just a little piece of applique that I put in that all right next page over is another page to just um, journal on it's just one sheet there and that's a little charm of an elephant over here we have just a page to journal on I wrote put lines all over it so you can journal on both sides I put some little stickers on there over here is a place to journal I put washi tape here over here is just a little tuck spot and a place to journal all on here that just tucks back inside and it is an envelope so on it it says together is my favorite place to be simply amazing inside it says I lost my heart to the sea and a place to journal and it just goes in here and you could put a ton of stuff in these envelopes now over here I really like this so you could just lift this out like this and this lifts up and this opens up and there's a place to journal in here on this and then you just close it back up you could Put it underneath here but you really don't need to because this little envelope here it's just a little envelope that has an ephemera for journaling on the front and the back as well and it goes in behind these little ladies and i just decorated this all up with um, ephemera 
and it just sits nicely in there like that. Okay, so that's one pocket done. And then over here, it's the inside of an envelope, and it's all glued down, and it's ready for uh, journaling on. Over here is a little pocket. You can journal here. You can journal on both of these tags. The fronts, and these are Dreams Etc. digital downloads. And they go in like that. And you can journal here, journal here. And I put these pages on. Um, a little strip with some washi tape. They look so cute. And over here, I left this as a blank vellum. This is a little uh, thing of grapes. And I drew lines so you can use alcohol ink on those uh, vellum sheets to draw on or write in your journal. Over here is just a little tuck spot. Not tuck spot, but a place to hold some uh, journaling. Um, over here, we've got... Uh, a, cl a flip pocket right here so this flips here like this and you can journal on the back here as well over here now what happened here is I ended up creating this pocket oh this is a different one okay never mind so this is just a tag that goes inside here and behind for journaling um, this just tucks in behind here and this tucks in behind here like so. And that's just another cute pocket. Like, I hope you can see very good, guys. <coughs> Flip it over. And another tag for journaling on. And that's a little tree. And then it goes back into its pocket here. Oops. This way that and over here I made a little booklet and this just opens up like this for journaling and it just tucks into this little spot here <coughs> and you can journal on the bag as well self so, over here I just made a little uh, place to journal here and a little spot to journal and I just put that in there and it's a, just a loose flip over here places to journal it's the back of it you can journal on the back of that if you want it's a Tim Holtz index clip holding that in and over here place to journal uh, here is a tuck spot you can journal on front back on this page there and journaling there and then this just tucks right back in like so. Now this pocket here I had fun making. It's a double pocket. It's super, super cute. I love it. So over here we've got a little booklet. We actually have two booklets. So, and they have these plastic dividers and inside I put um, papers. So you can journal in there and I sewed them. And they tuck into, um, individual pockets so this one goes in here like so and the little tabs stick out which I think are adorable and then this one here I sewed as well and again it's got some papers in here to journal on and then it'll go in its own little pocket which is right there and it goes like so so it's got these cute little tabs um, off to the side like that which I love so you can see how pretty that is and then it flips over and over here I folded down the paper because it tore on me so I thought because it's super thin and I just made a cute little tag and a journal or a journal card to journal on and just stuck it in there you can journal on the front of it and I just put lots of ephemera on here. Some of these are stickers. Some of them are uh, Dreams Etc. ephemeras. And this here is just a place to journal. And this is a super cute tag. You can journal on there. And I put the butterfly. I, that's a Dreams Etc. butterfly that I cut out. And you can journal there. Over here is got a ton. Oops. Oh dear. These did not stay on. I didn't think they would. I'm just going to glue that back on right now. I didn't 
uh, I bought this already pre-made like this and of course it's not uh, Oh, I didn't want to glue all of it down. I just want to glue the edges in here because I need something to wind it to. Just to there. It doesn't even feel like the grommets are down. So I don't want to glue it all down. <laughs> anyway, inside of this, it's a um, accordion pocket. It's really thin and delicate. And there's a bunch of ephemera cards in here to uh, journal on. So there's all kinds of pretty cards, vintage, and you can journal on all the backs of them. That's in one pocket. In the second pocket, it's got another stack of journaling cards. And they just, oh, this is a little booklet that you could journal in. Another ephemera or journal journaling cards just really pretty stuff and a postcard and that will just go inside of this pocket so they did not make this envelope very well I can tell you that they sure were cheap on the glue and I will just fix that real quick with my glue and there we go. And then this tucks back into this pocket here. Oops. And then this will close back up. On here I put a charm that says 2019 and a metal pair of those vintage scissors. And then we'll put this back on. I want to make sure I didn't glue it all down. And I think it did. Nope, there we go. It's peeling up. There we go. Alright, and then this just winds around here and here. Like that. And that's just a key hanging off. So that was, I'm glad I opened that. And then there's just a nice big tag for journaling. And it tucks back inside here. Over here is just a place to journal. And this here is a pullout. And it's on a Tim Holtz index clip. So you can journal on all these pages. And you can even journal on that. And this just tucks back inside like that. Now, last but not least is the very last page that I did in the book. And... This just turned out so pretty. I'm so pleased with it. Now these are all some of the ephemeras that I got from Dreams Etc. And of course I put lines on the back to make it easier. And I try to make the lines look like they're kind of faded in spots in some ways. So you can see the lines there. This little typewriter there. And then inside of these pockets are two envelopes. And each envelope has an a journaling card with lines on the back to journal on as well. So there's that one that just slides into this pocket and I put another ephemera on the pocket and this one goes this way I guess in there. I just kind of leave them half out and uh, the ephemera that I had in here was this one and I believe, I believe I had this one there. And then there's two more pockets here, or two more envelopes in this pocket as well. It says hooray. And there's also ephemeras in here. And these are Dreams Etc. Her, her envelopes that came or in with her, uh, I think it was her ephemera collection. And then this just slides behind. And then we put the typewriter in, the fan in, and the perfume bottle in. And there's places to journal on there. Uh, it just says happy. And then the whole entire book, I just turn it like this, get all the charms hanging out, and 
I move the charms out of the way and close it up with the uh, macrame and the beads. So there you go. There is a rundown of this beautiful journal that I made, was commissioned to make, and it's going to be off in the mail real soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed my project share, and it gives you some inspiration to go to Dreams Etc. Check, oh, and I put uh, Diamante Chain on the front and the back here. It's so pretty, the Diamante Chain. And inspires you guys to go get your... Uh, your stuff from dreams etc so i hope you enjoy your journal to the lady that purchased it and i'll see you guys real soon god bless bye and thanks for watching